Hey guys, I want you to check this video out. This video is a video of me and my brothers in Christ preaching at Ybor City last night, warning people to repent and to turn from their sins and that nobody knows how long they're going to live. We preached a message of repentance, getting water baptized, receiving the Holy Spirit. We even preached that some people, they may not live to see 2024. We say some people, they may pass away this, this year and that tomorrow is not promised and that they should um, seek Jesus now and that today is the day of salvation. And later on in the morning after we woke up, because we left right at about two o'clock, um, right after two, and in the morning after we woke up, we heard the tragic news that two people were killed and 18 people were injured. But we were there that night and I believe that God allowed us to be there to warn people to repent, to give their life to him, to turn from their sin. And um, right after we finished warning and we left within less than an hour, um, according to the news, it says two people got into a fight and um, there was a shootout and two people lost their lives and many people got injured. So I just want you to watch this video. And at the end of this video, we're going to include some clips of us actually being there and preaching and warning people to repent, to turn from their sins and to give their life to Jesus. God bless you. The King is coming soon. Get ready. To that breaking news in Ybor City, Tampa police are investigating a shooting in Ybor that left two people dead. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton is live near the scene on 7th Avenue. J.J., police just gave an update. What can you tell us now about what you've learned? We can tell you that 18 people were injured. Again, two people dead, but at least 18 people injured. Either they were shot or hurt during a fight that started all of this. Again, this is at 7th and 17th. You can see there's the chief of police as well as the state's attorney, and they're over there talking right now. The chief of police say this all started as a fight right here near 7th and 17th across from the Truist Bank near the uh, restaurant here. And they said this fight then broke out. One person started shooting into the crowd. Again, two people left dead. There might have been other shooters as well. And then other people got involved. There were hundreds of people out here, according to the chief of police. Again, 18 people in total that weren't killed, but 18 other people were injured and are at the hospital right now. So this investigation is still going on. All started as a fight. We're working to get more information about the victims as well as suspects. We do know that one person did turn themselves in, according to the chief of police, and they are questioning that one person, but there might have been others. Again, this started as a fight leaving two people dead, working to get the, vic the names and the ages of those victims, as well as 18 others who were taken to the hospital with injuries, either they were shot or some other injuries, all starting as a big fight out here around 3 this morning in Ybor. As soon as we get more information, we will let you know. Reporting live in Ybor City, I'm JJ Burton, ABC Action News. <laughs> On that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in thy name and in thy name did many wonderful things? And Jesus said, I will profess unto many people, depart from me, I never knew you. It's not enough to just say you believe in Jesus. It's not enough to just say that you go to church on Sunday. You have to repent, get baptized, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And heaven, when you die and your friend dies, you and your friend won't be standing before God. It will just be you. Your mom won't be there. Your dad won't be My there. It will be just minutes. you standing before God. And the question is, where will you spend your eternity? Because tomorrow is not promised. For some people, this may be the last message they're hearing about Jesus. Because the Bible says, it's appointed to man once to die, and then comes the judgment. Oh, Every person will die. It's a 10 out of 10 chance that you will pass away. And the Bible says, when you pass away, you will stand before God and you will give an account. And Jesus says, now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to repent and get right with God because Jesus is coming soon. And he's at the door and the signs are all around. And this is what the word of God says. It says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, those are people having sex outside of marriage, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, 
nor covetous people, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. God is saying, come to me, I can restore all things, but you have to make a move. The Bible says if you draw close to God, he will draw close to you. And he says, unless a man repent, unless a man is born of the water and of the spirit, they cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, what is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Jesus says, do not be confused when I tell you, you must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? It means to recognize that you've sinned against God, that you've sinned against your own body, and that if you were to pass away, you will not inherit his kingdom. It means that you turn from those things and say, God, I want to get baptized. And after you've gotten baptized, then you say, God, I need your spirit. And God will give you his spirit so you can live a holy life, so you can live a pleasing life. And I'm here today to tell you, now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to flee from the wrath to come. Many will come to Jesus and say, Lord, Lord. And Jesus says, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord. And I will say to them, depart from me. I never knew you. So, so many people think that it's enough to just believe in Jesus. And I want you to know, even the devil believes in Jesus. And he trembles. And he's not going into the kingdom. And there's many people who say they believe in Jesus. And they don't even enter the kingdom. So I want to talk about is it okay for Christians to celebrate Halloween and we're just going to take a look at the Word of God and see what it says and our reading today is going to be coming from 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 to 18 and this is what the Word of the Lord reads and it says be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness and what harmony has Christ with Baal? Or what part has he that believes with an infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be you separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. The Bible says that we should not be conformed to this world, but that we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind so we would know those things that are right and acceptable with God. We have been translated from darkness to the kingdom of life to the kingdom of light once we've become born again. And we have no relationship with darkness. Christians should not be celebrating Halloween. I know there's a lot of people that will watch this video and they say, oh, it's just something fun. We're doing it for the kids. Halloween is not just something fun and for the kids. The origins of Halloween are very demonic and you can't turn pus into pudding. We need to completely stay away from that. The Bible says that we should renounce the unfruitful works of darkness.